We know that diet plays a huge role in candida and the overgrowth. Yes. But what about lifestyle and the role of stress in particular? Right, right. Well, the first thing we find is that a stressed out body has a very poor immune system. So this may be a combination of things like lack of sleep, mm -hmm. um, stress at the workplace, toxic relationships, uh, chemical burden that's placing actual stress on the body with pesticides okay. and, and stains and cleaners, etc. All those things will suppress an immune system, which would normally keep our candida in a happy population, keep it in check. Okay, so, and does stress also make the body more acidic, which is also conducive to overgrowth? Well, stress will, will um, probably more directly affect the release of stress hormones. Mm -hmm. So the way to think about it is, is that we as humans are designed to run from bears. We're just not designed to run from bears all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a release of adrenaline and um, stress hormones like um, cortisol that, right. that potentiates a certain response that makes us want to be acute and ready. But when you turn the volume up that loud for so long, pretty soon you get things like adrenal fatigue mm -hmm. and bodies that the immune system's like, I'm done. And then candida, for example, has an opportunity to take over. So that's the role that stress plays by suppressing the immune system. Primarily, yes, yes. And we know what effect stress has on so many different organs of the body. I mean, most people know Look at what even one of our tests in conventional medicine, a cardiac stress test. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the heart can handle if we put it under duress. Well, it can only handle so much. Right. So diet and lifestyle, as we, we know, we know this. It's just a, it's hard. It's a bit of the human condition. All of us know the pretty much we, we have a fair idea of how we could take care of ourselves or we at least know something that we could do mm -hmm. that would better take care of us. Okay. And then it's the actual incorporating of it. That's the most difficult part. Baby steps perhaps? Baby steps and it's okay to ask for help. This is where natural health practitioners can come in who can walk that path with you. Obviously it's still up to the individual. It's mm -hmm. their body, it's their path, but you can get some guidance. You, you can ask for help along the way and baby steps. You got it right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Lepister.